we'll take a look how to create an animation like this without any plugins and as well as we'll see how to stop animation and start animation as you want so let's stop it let's start it just like this so let's go ahead and get started so let's get started so here i have this tool class and inside this tool class we don't have anything just an app bar and a floating action button now to be able to work with animation first we need to declare animation controller so let's go ahead and do that so here we created an animation controller as you can see and we created the controller object and the type is animation controller in the constructor we are passing the duration it, it, which means that how long the animation will continue as well as vsync now we are saying that repeat this animation and don't reverse it one thing though if we are going to use ticker provider state mixing which is a mixing class in that case we have to use with now if you don't know what is mixing class i have other tutorials check that out from the link below anyway so first we created this controller object so basically controller tells you how long and how it should do the animation and then we have created kind of animation that we want to do so we use this curved animation class and inside this we have to pass the controller that we created and then we mention the type of animation that we want now regarding this we'll take a look more a little later now we'll come over here so inside this we are going to create a body section so here is our body section and inside the body section we have this rotation transition widget which actually takes the animation property the one that we created because it has this turns animation object which is called turns so it lets you take how to turn and do things like that and as well as we have this custom padding and then container now we are going to use wrap widget because we want to wrap a lot of container inside this now for now actually we are going we are ready to run it let's go ahead and run it this is what we see but of course it's rotating but it's just one color so that's why we don't see it now we're gonna copy this and put it right below it and this time we're going to change the color so we would use indigo and now let's run our animation now we see that it's changing okay so that's how you create a rotating animation but of course we could copy all of this and put it here and we can use say for example red and uh, yellow like that let's run it one more time and here we see that it's rotating so rotating is basically easy all you have to do create an animation object animation controller then based on that controller go ahead and create an animation object and pass that animation object because we want to do rotation so that's why we are using rotation transition widget now over here we do see that we have this floating action button and here we have this unpressed event so next we'll see how to stop and restart this animation now over here we are taking this animation controller object and we check the property which is called is animating so controller itself has this property so we can just go ahead and use that check on check the value if it's animating then we stop it otherwise we repeat it keep running so let's run and see how it goes so now here we are so let's click on this button it stops then it runs stops runs and as I said earlier that we want to work a bit of uh, work on this so here instead of linear we can actually choose a lot of different options and they are actually pretty useful and they look fancy so we choose bouncing and as you can see it goes like this so it's up to you whichever property you want to take and use that but of course so linear is the good one you can also do linear to ease out so let's go ahead and run it so here so it works like this so slowly ease out stops and runs like that so anyway if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button thank you